YouTube, what is going on, guys? Day one, Nade here. And do I have a banger for you today? Now, we are only a few weeks away from the July update of Lost Ark. And now, in the July update of Lost Ark, we've already talked about it. We're going to be getting solo raids, we're going to be getting honing changes. We're going to be getting a new event uh, pass similar to the Super Makoko Express, if not the exact Super Makoko Express, as well as I am speculating that we are also getting another set of power passes. Now, you might ask, why are we getting another power pass? Me, personally, the reason that I think that we're getting another power pass is they just took the Vern power pass away as well as we have the Elgacia Power Pass. Currently, if you uh, are just coming back and you haven't used it, you can use the Elgacia Power Pass. It'll push you all the way through there. But they've now taken the Vern Power Passes away. Those are what you would get after you completed the Elgacia Power Pass. You would get another Vern uh, Power Pass, and then you would get another one after that. So you would have one character uh, after Elgacia and two after North Vern. So... What does that mean? What that means is I believe that we're getting another power pass. And with that power pass, it's going to push you into the beginning of that next Super Makoko Express. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to talk to new players. And then I'm going to talk to returning players on what I am doing as a returning player and what I think that all new players should be doing as well as what I think all returning players should be doing. And quite frankly, if I'm being honest, most end game players, players who have been playing the game since the beginning, you guys know what you're doing. You guys are, are getting ready for all the new content and whatnot. I don't really need to talk to you quite frankly i don't really have the knowledge to be talking to you guys anyways so let's dive into it with new players now i have my roster here but if you don't have a roster what you would have is you would have a blank roster you would log on and the moment that you logged on and logged in we'll give it just a second here to load you will have in your mailbox at the top left a Elgacia power pass. So obviously I have already used mine. So you would have new mail up here and it would be the Elgacia power pass. You would use that Elgacia power pass and it would push your character past Elgacia and would introduce you into the Super Makoko Express. Now, I've already completed my Super Makoko Express, but basically the Super Makoko Express, I believe this one took you from 1460 to 1580. Um, let's see. 1460 is what it would be. So after Elgasi, you come out, you have a 1460 set, and you basically hone your way all, all the way up to 1580. Now, I will say with the three weeks left, it'll be quite uh, difficult to get yourself to 1580, especially if you're a new player because you don't know the mechanics of the raids and it would just be extremely difficult. But how can you still prepare? How you can prepare is by coming on, starting to learn raids, starting to learn, uh, you know, the honing processes, uh, the card systems, the rest of the horizontal progression systems, and basically everything that the game has to offer as a whole. So I would come in, I would use this uh, pass, I would use the Super Makoko Express, I would start honing your character up, I would try to push it as far as humanly possible. And then, as a new player, once you've pushed it as far as humanly possible, I would then get another character, if possible, to 1460. Now why are you going to get it to 1460 the reason you're going to get it to 1460 is because that is when you can basically do um hard vaulting as well as hard vicus these are the two earliest raids in the game and basically again it's just a learning experience it kind of gets you into the run of it as well as you can start accumulating gold 
because gold is going to be key going into this next update gold is going to be key because quite frankly we don't know exactly what is going to happen yes we have the roadmap yes we have the information but we don't know exactly how much the honing is getting nerfed we don't know what it's going to cost we have no idea so for new players come in use your algacia power pass use your super makoko express get your characters to at least 1460 if you're making alts and don't hone past that the reason that you don't hone past that is because in this next update you're getting full engraving support as well as full gems once you hit punica which is that around 1460 mark so it's going to make it very very easy for you to get through your raids now for returning players returning players i would assume you've already came in you've already used your algacia power pass you might have even gotten lucky enough to use the Vern power pass before they took it away you are already grinding through your super makoko express i'm going to assume that you've already made it all the way through your super makoko express and now you're 1580 what i would tell you to do is get after a con i am to the point now as a returning player that that is where i am at i need to get after a con for the next three weeks and i need to level my character um past and into a con to take advantage of the descend into darkness right here to get my full Akan gear and level to 1600 to be able to basically get the early elixir as well as uh you know the rest of the achievement chest and the gold and whatnot here in the descend to darkness now i have a lot of work to do here in three weeks getting my main character which is my surge death blade to 1600 but what i have been working on as you saw in the beginning is i have now been working on getting my roster set up now i had the paladin here for the soul eater i wasn't enjoying it i took it out but now i have my soul eater that i'm going to be pushing to 16 uh 1460 excuse me my slayer is going to be the same thing i need to still knowledge transfer that character and get that ready the same thing with my machinist and my breaker so i'll have one character that i'd like to have at 1600 and the rest at 1460 at 1460 again once we get to punica here in just a couple of weeks we're going to be getting full engraving support as well as full gem setup for all tier three characters until we get to tier four and i believe 1620 so we want to be prepared for solar raids because quite frankly the more solar raids that we're doing the faster that we're going to progress as well as the more gold that we're going to be making for our characters so you want to have all six characters on your gold earning roster ready to make gold and you want to have them in the best possible position to be making gold when that update hits i'm assuming somewhere around the 17th that's when the super makoko express uh ends as well as if we get another super makoko express take this time with your characters and for new players i would say the same thing try out a bunch of different characters see what characters you're liking you know try them out see if there's a favorite if you have if you have a favorite go ahead and plan to use the super makoko express that we may be getting on that character now i am obviously speculating that we're going to be getting it but they said that we're going to be getting some sort of an event that's going to either help us uh progress our main character or help us level that alt that we've all been wanting to use um so i'm taking that as super makoko express and i'm also taking that as again another burn power or another power pass excuse me of some sort to put us in a position to be able to use that to get it close to uh i would around probably the 1600 mark i highly doubt that they're going to push us all the way to 1620 but Maybe with these nerfs, it'll give us the opportunity before September to push more characters to 1620 to be ready to go to tier 4 at 1640. Um, as obviously, for the people who don't know, when um, 
the next zone comes out there will be a chaos dungeon in which we can go in and it will give us all of uh give us all a set of 1640 gear that is tier four to get off, uh get off of the tier three on our characters and get to tier four on our characters so this is going to be huge it's a massive massive preparation phase currently and right now is kind of the time to take advantage of it we have three weeks left of the super makoko express if you're not through we have three weeks left of the descended darkness and then it's time to go it's it's time that we're going to be getting those updates that we've all been waiting for the solo raids are extremely exciting the honing changes are extremely exciting the engraving support is absolutely absolutely huge for all new players and returning players because it gives you that time to prepare with your engravings you're not worrying about trying to get a 5 by 3 or a 5 by 3 plus 1 to be able to get into lobbies on a 1460 character it's it eliminates all of that and it makes it extremely extremely nice for all of the new and returning players so i'm going to keep making videos like this from a returning player to a new player or from a returning player to another returning player uh, because i know that there just quite frankly isn't a lot of this out there if you guys have any questions make sure to comment them below or join my discord and ask them there i'm always in there answering questions on basically anything that you may have if you enjoyed the video make sure to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next one